this is Ronnie. It is Friday at 5.33 p.m. Central Standard American Time. Uh, this is totally serious. I just am cracking my first beer after work. I ain't made a video for a couple days. Cancer screening. Colorectal cancer screening, okay? Nobody wants to hear that. You're supposed to start when you're 45. I'm 58. Never done it. My insurance pays for it. Uh, wrenching and working on stuff. I've torqued my body where I bled out the front for no reason. Out the back for no reason. And never ever worried about it when I was younger. Uh, like a month and a half ago. Blood. Just nothing major or anything. And, but I'm like, I've never been screened for colon cancer with, you know, uh, the scope up your butt. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's not that bad. I went and done it, to be sure, because I have a friend that died of uh, colorectal cancer about 10 years ago. That was like 52, okay? And I'm like, ah, no problem. But yeah, I'm just like, yeah, and insurance pay for it. No, it's not as bad as they say it is, okay? It's not fun, but it's not as bad. The, the time, do it with the scope. You know, find a good doctor that knows what they're doing. Have it done. You're supposed to start at 45. And then if you're good there, you're good for 10 years, 55 or whatever. I'm 58. I just did it. No problems. I'm good. But, you know, I so I over-wrenched my body and torqued my body and something else. And it's been gone for a month. But I don't have to worry anymore and wonder and wonder, okay? And if you got a family and kids around that give a crap about you, Get it done. Nobody really cares. I'm all alone. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> but I still had it done because I give a crap because I want to be around for a long time to haunt the people that hate me on here. Yeah, go get screened. Do a colonoscopy. or And then I, I would recommend a colonoscopy. It's not as awful as they say. And I did it all by myself and had to sneak around. No driver, no nothing. We got it worked out. I got friends. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's sweet. Maybe I'll tell you that story. Uh, yeah, I got out of there, but I had to have a driver, but I drove myself to there. Oh, it's cool. Got to be smarter than an average dog, but you got to know you're safe. Don't ever drive when you've been under anesthesia and shit, and you can't even drive after a beer or whatever. No, I'm good to go. It was awesome. Nobody in danger. Cool. But go get screened. Insurance, almost all of them will pay for it when you're 45 do it when you're 45, so then you got 10 years, and you don't have to worry. And then there's a product out now, if you get it with the scope the first time, and there's no cancer, no nothing. Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Oh, crap. Now I blanked out on the freaking name. Uh, it's a Cologuard, and it's like $900, and you got to, they don't run a scope up your butt. You know, and it just, but it, it it'll it's it's as efficient as uh, if you have cancer. It's as efficient. I looked it up as uh, doing a colonoscopy, but it can cause fake positives, false negatives that you don't have cancer. So uh, what I'm thinking, it's like seven hundred eighty bucks, and I think it's like two grand in insurance to get a colonoscopy and everything. It's like uh, around here, probably more than that. But my insurance covers it once every ten years, so I did it. Oh, this light! Now I've done it. Even if I'm worried about it, and my insurance won't pay it, you know, the two grand or twenty five hundred probably in, until another ten years, if something. It's funky. I know I don't have cancer. I, I, I'm fine. Yeah, everything's cool. I had a couple little tiny polyps, just a couple, and they ban them and boom. And that's where colon cancer first will show up usually, but not always. But that Cologuard will catch 96, 98% of cancer. But then you already got cancer. That, that sucks. So now I know I don't have cancer, and odds are I'm probably not going to get it. So maybe in five years I'll pay the money out of my pocket if I don't have a different insurance company and I just do that one. Because they're both about the same, but it doesn't know for sure. 
You know, it can cause, yeah, get in there with a scope, the doctors know, they know what they're looking at. But get screened, because I said, I bleed sometimes from over-wrenching or overworking and stuff, and my doctor, heart doctor, been on my butt for the last five years. You ain't been even screened for that. Yeah, and I said, I had a friend that did die of colon cancer uh, about ten years ago. And no f symptoms, no nothing. You know, in his 70s, but it, it don't show up. And if, it, you know, go get screened. Do it. It's, it's not that bad. And then you know you're good. If you've never had it done, go get it done once. And then you know you're good. And if it's not good, they can catch it right away. All right? Because this is one that very rarely colorectal cancer doesn't show nothing until you're bleeding all over and then... You're already pretty much a dead human. You're pretty much done. Uh, you know, with the, the free tests and stuff you get from the patch health fair and stuff, with your you do with your own booty and boom. And yeah, it just looks for, if you're bleeding uh, out of your back end, yeah, and it is cancer or something, uh, you're in a world of hurt. I wasn't, I didn't, I said, it was just a, I overwrenched myself and kind of tweaked and got blasted. And yeah, I know what happened. But I wanted to get checked. So I don't have to worry no more. Go get checked. And uh, for men, get your pH, what, P, whatever, D test when you get a blood test. Check for prostate cancer. Get that. It, it, it's just a blood draw deal. And ladies, do your breast screening and your uterine screening and things and stuff. Go get checked. So you know, and you're afraid when you go in there again, say, geez, maybe I got something really bad. Odds are you don't. But if you do, they're going to catch it sooner, and your odds of being alive to hang around for a long time, if you got kids and grandkids or anybody, is, is a lot better, you know? If you got somebody that cares about you. Me? <laughs> I care about myself. I want to haunt the people that hate me forever. So there you go. I'm here to fight evil. I'm hanging loose. Go get screened. Get your screenings if your insurance pays for it. And I said, this one, the normal colonoscopy with the scope ring, it's not that bad. If you got a friend to drive you there and take you back, it's really easy. I had to do a lot of workarounds to get it done. You know what I mean? I got it done. I'm good. Kosher as hell. I said maybe in five, eight years, I'll have that uh, cola guard to see if there's any cancer. But the odds are I'm good till everything else in my body explodes. All right? Go get checked for all your screenings you can get. I know it's scary as shit, but you'd rather know soon if anything's going wrong than later when it's too fucking late. Get my drift? You wait too long, and then, oh, man, yeah, I'm bleeding here. I'm hacking up blood for, you know, screenings or wherever. Then it's way too late. Probably ain't going to be around more than six months or a year. Because, you know, they're not going to cure cancer. This is the truth. Even if they could, they're not going to cure cancer, the pharmaceuticals and stuff, because there's no money in a cure. You get rid of cancer. Uh, we got the cure. Here you go. We fixed you for ten grand a piece. Look at the money they make on making you alive when it's costing ten thousand dollars a month for people with cancer just for their freaking medication. Yeah, yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> if they can cure cancer here in the United States, they're not going to do it because there's no money in curing it. All the money's in keeping you alive as long as possible. To get all those payments in their pocket for their drugs and their treatment. It's wicked, but that's the way it works. God's bless. Go get screened, get checked out. Yeah, it's spooky and scary. If it does come out, you find out and you're covered and you you're you're gonna be around. If if you wait, man, oh man, everything's screwed. Outlook ain't good, you know. The quicker you can find any type of cancer, the quicker you can stop it and beat it. God's blessed. Totally serious, man. Go get screened on your stuff. 
Take care. I'm sure you have someone that wants to see you again tomorrow and next year, okay? My cats and my bunnies, well, my one cat and my bunnies want to see me. I got a few friends. They still want me to be at work and hang out and shoot the shit. Go do what you do. It's scary as shit because you don't know what's going to come out of it. Especially, you know, a, a month ago, a little bleeding, but I know I got whacked and twisted and hurt working. But I wanted to make sure, so I know I'm good. Okay? You never have to wonder. Go get checked. You got an answer. Good or not so good. And not so good, you catch it right away. Your odds of being around 20 years from now are a hell of a lot better. God's bless. Peace. Love. Half a heart. I'm holding my phone. Have a heart. Go get checked. Do all your screenings for cancer and everything else. You know, if insurance pays for it, or if if you don't make enough money, you can get it done through the government. Go get checked out if you want to see tomorrow. All right? Especially if you have family and kids and you're not an old soul. I'm an old soul and I'm getting it done. Yeah. I got a lot of work to do here before I go and come back again. God's bless. Ciao.